really, really clean first gen. Still plenty of yeah. yeah, I have an idea. And uh, 302, I like the little emblem there. Really clean under the hood. Makes mine look kind of bad. <laughs> and uh, slip back here. We got another one. This is more off road. You see, it's got the winch up high, so you don't lose any uh, your. And it's got cow hood, so it might have a Windsor under it, like mine does. And we got a, another little gray one, super clean over there, probably a cruiser. Really clean interior on this uh, green one. Oh yeah, he's got the wood grain steering wheel, like you see in a Shelby. Got a nice little touch there, right there. Bronco right in the center. Real clean inside. It's a, it's a really clean Bronco. Got the dash pad. It's a Ranger edition, so that means if you look in the back, you see panels, wood grain door panels. These Ranger editions are a little bit more special than the rest of them, with the nicer interiors. And uh, got the old school tack. I like that. Really clean. Really nice Bronco. Another nice. Uh, this is an earlier one, 289. Later ones uh, were 302s. See a lot of aluminum radiators. They were Broncos have a tendency running hot. That's why mine's not here until so I get it upgraded. Then I'll bring it up here. It has a tendency to run hot in traffic. I'll slip around here back behind. And I do see something I came up here to see. Over here we've got the heritage suspension. And I'll do another little separate video on that. We'll keep looking at the first gen Broncos. We've got a, another nice first gen. Back behind, we've got a bunch of uh, second, third gen Broncos too. Really clean, uncut. Well, this is a cut one. Really clean, really clean. Slip around between it and the new Bronco. Uh, Heritage Edition with a little Bronco script on the front. Oh, we got another. This looks like a Survivor up here, Uncut Survivor. And it's a Ranger package as well. So this is going to have the special interior. It's got carpet. It's got the special hound's tooth and the seats as well. And you'll see that in the Heritage Edition in a little bit when I go to show you that. Well, you're checking out the hound's tooth. You got the, it doesn't have the wood grain, it's got the, the hound's tooth. So this is a really neat one because it's a, uh, and it doesn't have the headliner because it's got soft top. But uh, that's a really, really nice Survivor truck right there. There's very few Survivor Broncos out there. When you're up here in Michigan, it might be even harder to find them. Uh, we've got another cleanly, clean restoration behind it, same color. And uh, looks like it's got just a small amount of lift to it, really nicely done. Uh, chrome grill, it's got the chrome grill treatment. You can see it going around here. That's special on the Broncos, the chrome eyelets. And uh, you see this Ford, you're gonna see that on the new ones as well. So, and this chrome down the side also, that's special. Uh, that's part of the Bronco Sport, and that's where the Bronco Sport name came from, was that uh, right there. We're here in the Hot Rods Cruise by because we're at Woodward. It's always cool. He's added some nice little touches inside. He's got this billet piece here. Uh, got the interior cleaned up real nice. Wood grain steering wheel again, nice, nice. Uh, five speed transmission, check that out. And a uh, really nice billet all around his shifters. Really nice job. He's got the upgraded uh, door panels and they actually have like a aluminum in them. That's a pretty neat touch for the sport. And this has got the dual tank option. So this was a, a higher option Bronco. There are not too many options on these first-gen Broncos. So that's pretty cool to see. <clears throat> this one's got old-school slots on it. I always like those old-school slots. And it's got the old uh, green mist color on it. Uncut. Uncut Broncos aren't my favorite. I like the cut ones, but they're still cool. And I respect that the guys keep them original. That's really awesome. Again, another one. It's got the, it's got the headlights upgraded. But he's got the, the trim around it, so that's pretty cool. And it's not white, some of them are silver. Yeah, but this one's got color matching <clears throat> interior. Check this out. 
not only is it green on the outside it's got the color matching interior it's got the ranger door panels with the wood grain but it's also got the houndstooth so that's a pretty neat little touch on the door panels so they've got a few extras in this one and it's got the headliner it's one of the first ones i've seen with the headliner check that out so and this one has a factory string wheel in it and they're pretty big mine had one and it's kind of annoying because it's so big but uh and it's automatic so this is a 74 or later unless he's added it and uh next to it we've got more of your off-roading overlanding hot rod bronco it's got the same uh hood scoop mine does it's got the cougar eliminator hood scoop from the cougar eliminator and actually i take that back that is more of a fox body mustang hood scoop because uh mine the lines angle back those go straight back so that's like a fox body hood scoop on his but he's got the worn winch led lights <clears throat> flares it's this is more of a, a toy somebody took out to have fun with uh it's a sport and uh it doesn't have the sports stuff in it so much anymore which a lot of it fell apart it's still uh yeah it's still pretty pretty dang cool But we'll come around the back side of it and we'll check out the spare tire rack big big heavy spare tire rack cooler jerry cam for gas just really nice uh, off-roading package right here on that one slip over to we got another one set up for a little bit of off-road but not as much because it's still not cut uh you lose a little bit of travel but a, a nice clean bronco it's got the metal door panels like mine does you can see them in there and those are the most robust door panels and uh, it's got the little bronco with the script and uh but he's got a billet <coughs> and dash and aftermarket so i'm guessing this guy has a uh, fuel injection on this one some of the other ones might but when you see that uh aftermarket dash like that usually means it's a uh, it's got a uh, deep dish rims aluminum sharp looking now this later Bronco caught my eyes, not because it's gray or it's a later one, but check out the fenders. Can you see them now? Got like Kardashian curves. Some things are flared out big time in front. The back doesn't have much of a flare. It's got some, but it's kind of appropriate when it's parked next to the, the Bronco Raptor over there. Yep, that's got some big players. We'll finish up with the first gens. We're looking at this one right here. Nice, clean, uncut. First gen Bronco. Then we're back down to the, the more modern, newer ones. Still awesome, awesome trucks, Broncos. And then we still have a... We'll come down to... This has got the sunburst paint on it. And it looks like a Survivor. So you don't see these second gens and survivors either especially with the original sunburst paint job on it that's pretty neat to see a little bit of lift on it like it should be this one is the xlt version well thanks for watching this part i'm gonna move on to some more broncos we've got a nice little combination here at woodward boulevard we've got a beautiful uh, looks like a 72, maybe three Bronco. Nice job on the paint here, real clean. Probably 33 inch tow tires. Got the door cutouts. Always a neat little option. But a uh, nice weekend fun Bronco. But what's really cool about this Bronco is his partner look over here you see this little guy right beside it he's got a mini me he's got a bronco golf cart painting same color doors cut out similar rims little roll bar isn't that cool i love it uh, did a great job dove tough these guys are from Indiana, Delphi, from Tennessee. Uh, yeah, look at that. And that. That is really cool.
Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I'll give you some more Bronco content from Woodward.